Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Rick. Yeah. Why is Corbin such a idiot? I don't know why. Cause he's a murder chode. It's pretty good. Great intro. Suck it, Corbin. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You need some Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. All the juicy content. It's so Thank you juicy. Thank you for Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow us on Twitter. Twitter camera as well. It's gone. Bye. Follow us on Patreon. 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 Follow us on Mind is always in the gutter. <laughs> Anyways, today we're doing a movie review of the night, uh, not 19, uh, 2000, <laughs> wow, 2018 film. The 1918 film. Uh, Monto, the biogra biography slash drama film of, uh, the writer, the short story writer, Monto. Monto. Uh, he's very famous. Uh, I was not aware of him. Uh, outside of seeing the trailer before this, Correct. but I know he's he was a very influential writer, especially around the partition time, yeah, uh, and, and everything like that. Directed by and written by Nandita Das, uh, starring Nwazan Siddiqui, Rasika Durgo, right? Yeah, Dugo, no, Dugo. Our, yeah, Rasika and then Dugo. a whole bunch of cameos, uh, which was Niraj uh, was like, which was wow, wonderful to see, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, uh, this will be a hundred percent for review. Came out twenty eighteen to eighteen. Uh, we saw it on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back because uh, I'm assuming a lot of you know about his story as opposed to you're right us who we kind of went into this blank. It's really sad. The majority of people in America truly probably only know Gandhi and Mother Teresa when they think about Indian personalities. Yeah, which is a shame. Yeah. As we're learning more and more and more, and we'll do everything we can to help educate yes. all of the stupids. So, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. I really liked it. Yeah. Um, I thought... Somebody... The acting was really shitty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the acting, I mean, uh, I, I, you expect it. Yeah. Well, let me say something before... Even though we expect great performances from actors, it doesn't mean that every actor is going to give you a great performance. No, so we, we would be honest if we saw our... I mean, I, I'll be the first one to tell you, Daniel Day Lewis doesn't do a good job in Nine. It, he can't do musical theater very well. He gave it a, the old college try, but, but it didn't you work. you do have ex crazy expectations for these actors. You really do. Obviously, Nawaz and Siddiqui, who, in my opinion, is arguably the best... Indian actor out there Agreed. currently acting. And, and Rasika, I was and, expecting, and, I love her. Yeah, and we now know her enough to expect a great performance from her. Correct, I believe we got that. And we not only got it from them, I, the was, entire impre cast. I was impressed with some of the, not even supporting characters, some of the just small featured folks, mm -hmm. day player stuff, like the guy at the very end who's calling out and drops in the desert. Uh -oh. that, 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 that short story? That, yes. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the couple in the other short story, Cold Meat, mm -hmm. I thought, at which there was another, there was another cameo yeah. right there. So yes, all in all, I, I really enjoyed this film. I would watch it again. I would recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I, I did, I did as well. And I did actually look up, I read some of his short stories after this. We read up on him after he died at like 41, I think it was. Yeah, he very had three young. Three daughters. But apparently, and he, uh, due to alcoholism, of course, yeah, um, and, and all that stuff. Uh, but apparently, all the kids remember him, him very fondly. Yeah, and, and, and I, lovingly. I was uh, I noticed something, and it would my guess it would be mm -hmm. this is the man's story is that he would be what would be considered a high functioning alcoholic. Yeah, because he wasn't the the really dying of consumption, fumbling, blithering. Their life is just in a total mess. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of alcoholics who are what they call high functioning, who most people might not even know that they're doing what they're doing to themselves. And when it turns up, what happens is the, the health problems. I think he died of cirrhosis Cir uh, of, of the, the liver. liver. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, from all the alcohol. So yeah, we can talk about uh, him. Uh, he obviously, uh, I believe, even though this is not something I could have picked up on, apparently 
played him very, very well in terms of impersonating like him, playing him, him, and, him and being like him, being his his voice, his mannerisms. Yeah, we would which know is that. nothing. I would I would expect nothing less from Nawazuddin and Sadiqi. Of course, that's exactly what I would expect from him. If he if he didn't like do his research and change the way he moved, change the way change the way his voice was, yeah. I would be very surprised. You know, I I'm laughing because every time I watch him now and I see anybody sharing the screen with him, the thought in my mind is. You lucky bastard. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Absolutely. Uh, and so he did such a, he definitely carries the film. Uh, and even though this is, if you're not into slow burns, I don't know how much you'll be into this, it, but this is really just his story. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a slow. It's a slow burn. Slow burn. And it is the, uh, it's also really important in terms of uh, the life of an artist mm -hmm. and, um, his struggle and obviously censorship, which yeah. is a never ending thing. It, it definitely touched on the censorship thing, which is obviously still relevant yeah. today. Yep, it and really is. Yeah. Which is pretty much throughout history, artists have always been at the cutting edge of society holding the mirror up and society, while they're alive, getting really mad at them and then later on appreciating that they were an important voice for their time. Yeah. I also felt that the direction and the writing, first of all, I'm, I'm guessing that English subs did justice to the Hindi. Yeah, but those English subs I felt were When I was memorable. talking to somebody about um, this film, if we, if we should watch it, um, she said, yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. She's, I'm, I'm worried about the subs because the language is so poetic. Right. I believe, I, like, I got a lot of that. I got a lot out of it. And I'm, I'm sure we didn't get exactly what I, was I know we have it. supposed to be Correct. said. Correct. But I felt that the subs were very well done. I, they were, for me, some of the best in terms of conveying things where, in fact, there was one, one sequence where he said something and I thought, man, there's so many lines I can quote from films from Hollywood. I wish I could quote the lines from this film in Hindi because I'm yeah. sure there's a lot of memorable lines that if you just said them, people would know, oh, that's Manto. You know yeah. what I mean? We don't know him in his language. Yeah. And he wrote, obviously, this was in Hindi, but it's my understanding that his primary uh, language was, was Urdu Ooh, when he wrote. Yeah. He, was, he wasn't Pakistani, but he, he was Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I think, I, think it, I, I could be wrong, maybe he was from Pakistan. Because obviously it was at that time. Yeah, I think he was from India, but then obviously he transitioned. Well, I guess partition he was from China. India because he was born, born in, in India, India, and then it became yeah. Pakistan, and he went to Pakistan. Yeah, uh, that was such a. It was sorry. We'll get to the the directing here in a second. I want to talk about Rasika as well. Rasika, I thought, did a very very good job. She's so job. different. She she has the ability, and it's very strange because not a lot of actors have this ability to one play different ages mm -hmm. and different like how she holds herself like this is very innocent mm -hmm. very motherly mm -hmm. as opposed to what we see in Mizapur mm -hmm. and then as opposed to what we see in Delhi Crimes where she yes. plays a very young uh, uh, cop yes uh, and here, here's the thing about that aspiring actors and actors who are uh, the great thing about her work is that while she does that like any great actor the physicality is all there and the wardrobe and the costume convey a lot of that as well but nothing she ever does is a tool or a cliche or an external prop to try and make you believe something. I feel like everything that she does in her transformations is completely organic, only done for reasons of this is me being this person and putting myself into this character. And I'm betting she also did her research as, I'm as, sure. to this real life person. Yeah. Because I, I'm pretty sure the laugh was probably how that person laughed. Yeah. That was a very distinct laugh, how that... It was like a, like a, <laughs> and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's exactly probably how that person laughed in real life. Yeah. I don't know for sure, but that would just be my assumption. So she did, a, I thought, a fantastic and job. And that was, a, they were a, a joy to watch working together, as was, I'm really impressed. Uh, this is one of those reviews where I want to give a shout out to both Nandita and the casting director, mm -hmm. because the totality of the casting Everybody, the smallest of roles, whether it was the judge, mm -hmm. the man I referenced earlier, uh, some of the smaller people, even just in the room. The when three the, cameos we Yeah, got. the three cameos, obviously. <laughs> Those are fantastic. Do you know who but, all the other two? Or actually, there are four, technically. Okay, so who? I may have who, missed one. Tell me who you think you saw. Well, I only remembered those two who? that I just mentioned. Niraj. Yeah. And then uh, uh, the cold meat. Um, 
that we saw in the Minaj and uh, show me his uh, uh, where is he? The the girl in Cold Me? No, the the guy in Cold the Me. The guy. Oh, from from the the war movie we saw with Minaj and um, oh yeah, no, that's not who I was talking about. Oh, okay. So yeah. who did I miss? Tilatama. Are you kidding me? She was the prostitute in the one of the first ones where, where she killed it the guy. It was her! It was her. Toward the beginning and yeah. she kills the guy. Yeah. And then... Uh, you she, just keep impressing me, Tilotama. Uh, she was so good. She, wow! She popped up and I was like, oh, Tilotama's at everything! I, I absolutely... Yeah, even though... I, I think I may have recognized it and forgot. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Rishi Kapoor. He played the producer. Oh, that's right. Yes, absolutely. And I then, knew that. Uh, Vijay Varma. Yes, and I knew that yeah, as well. Yes, 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 uh, yes. So it was it was wonderful seeing all these people just pop up, and obviously Niraj, who yeah. obviously killed his scene. <laughs> he, he did. He always does. He's such a he's such a gifted actor. But that's one of the things I want to talk about. I do agree. The casting was impeccable. It was great. It's very western. I I don't know this director. Like, where, if she is well, she's indie. mostly an an actress. She doesn't have a lot of films on her resume as a director. It was very almost western the way it was I done. I absolutely agree. Uh, so this is like if you could give this to a person from that's just familiar with Hollywood, I think they could at least, uh, it would be very familiar to them. I think this is definitely on the list of films that we would recommend to people in America who aren't familiar with Indian films. Yeah. That would break the stereotype of Bollywood for them. The the cinematography was gorgeous. gorgeous. And the lighting. Yeah. So many shots. So that many were shadow shots. Done with the lighting and, and, and also big shout out to the sound team. So many things were done, uh, just technically and everything, it was really kind of textbook movie making in terms of this is how you do this well. This mm -hmm. is how you do this the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, and no points where suspension of disbelief was destroyed. I thought there was really creative moments. Those moments when he just would look straight to camera, mm -hmm. I thought were really cool and thought, dangerous to do. I thought it was so interesting how, and we can talk about the director, the uh, Nadita Das. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if we've seen her or anything. You guys can let us know uh, if she's more of an actress. But um, super well done how she weaved in the short stories. Oh, I love that. That's probably because my favorite part of the film. At, at, at certain points, the beginning or wherever, you're like, is this part is of the story? I didn't like, is what's this really happening? What's going? And then you would come out and you're like, okay, this is one of his stories. But yep. they were all so seamless and well done yep. that you think they're part of the story, but they're they're just he's somebody's reading his story or something's going on, and that's how they're they're getting his short stories woven into the film. And I thought that was extremely brilliant. I did too. Uh, I liked that a lot. And I think the message, obviously, not knowing what we know about him, but now this teaching us and as well as just, I did the two, I did a little research. Mm -hmm. The, um, it just seems like it's a never ending battle between artists and censor censorship. Yeah. It just, and what's funny is, and I say funny tongue in cheek, I don't mean it in a comedic way, but when he pointed out from the stand, why can't I write about real life? Yeah. Why do you want to censor real life? That's yeah. one of my problems I've had about films that are made that are telling stories from the Bible yeah. because they become whitewashed and sanitized in yeah. PG yeah. when it's R and NC-17 in some spots. Yeah. If you do it the way it's written, yeah. it's freaking rated R. Yeah. Life is rated R. Yeah. Now granted, you, want, you may want to have this story be uh, fashioned in such a way that you want it to be for a broader audience, which is another credit I think that men need to have because on the one hand I was thinking, I wonder if this should be a bit more gritty but I didn't want it to go there because I felt like more people need to see the film. So this is one of those instances where I don't think it was her censoring the creative output as much as it was shaping the creative yeah. output for the film. That was actually probably my one gripe with it. Is that it could have been longer for me. I, oh yeah, it could have been a longer film. I actually thought they could have delved more into the, the husband and wife relationship. Sure. Obviously they're telling his entire life. And so you got to squeeze a bunch into a small amount of time. Yeah. So it's, and I thought she did a brilliant job of it. So I don't, I'm not, I'm not knocking her. It's just, if the only way I can, cause I don't really have a gripe with this film. I think everything was done almost really brilliantly. Yeah, really well done. Outside of 
It could have honestly been a little longer. Two and a half. I think they could have delved into some relationship I, more. I agree. So this is that's a great gripe to have, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely is. I felt that way about Ma Rainey's Black Bottom as well. Yeah, for sure. It, it was like over before it started. I got, was like, wow, really? This is done? Yeah. Now, I do have a gripe mm. on the IMDb page here. Mm. I don't know if I was hallucinating. Because it shows me composers here, right? Yeah. I could have sworn I saw... Some it, music was done by Zakir Hussain. At the beginning, it yes. did say that. Yeah. So where is he on the IMDb credit? I don't know. So you guys can like, my wife saw that right at the beginning. Yeah. She was like, oh, Zakir Hussain. And the score was great. But uh, we don't know if it's that Zakir Hussain or if it's a different, there are multiple people named Zakir Hussain that right. we've, we've mistaken before. Yeah, that but there's not, a, whoever it is, they're not credited here on IMDb. Well, you know they do. And we know that the way it is, but terrible with that, Indian films. That as well, I thought, was the score was really, really nice. Just really a, well done. Across the board, this is just a really good movie. Yeah, it's it, it's not, you can't knock it for a lot. No, nope. because obviously the acting's great. The directing's really good. The cinematography was fantastic. The way they wove in it, it for people who know nothing about his life, mm -hmm. I feel like we got a lot of information. It definitely gave me that information, and it definitely made me want to know more about him, which mm -hmm. that would, for me, if I'm making a film about somebody from history that's important, that's what I'd want, to yeah. think, wow, my, the, my audience learned something about the character and now wants to learn more about him? Yeah. Job done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, I think Nawaz actually said something about this performance in our interview with him. Uh, I think it might have been, you guys can let me know because I can't remember. It might have been like his, in his opinion, his best performance. Hmm. I, from, I, I might remember I that. I need to go I back and watch the interview. It was over a year ago. Um, but I think that's what he's, because it was one we hadn't seen yet. Yeah. Um, and I think it was this one because he might have been, obviously, it was a very recent one for him at the time mm -hmm. uh, of being released. And he probably worked on it a lot if he's portraying a real life person. Probably. And that reminded me as you said that when I'm thinking about him playing the character. Another thing I liked about the film was that it gave you the constant underlying tensions that are there between Hindu and Muslim mm -hmm. since partition yeah. and even before yeah. without needing to give you some violent drama thing that you look back to and go, man, isn't this awful? We never got a, you know what our isn't this awful was? Mm. The one sentence from his buddy who said, I'd kill you. Yeah. And that right there is the the heart of all of that division. Yeah. Um, that simple sentence of, even with the closest of friend, when he said, I'm so sorry I said that to you, and Nawaz Manto, he's like, in other words, I know you feel bad about it, but the truth is it revealed what you really think. Yeah. You may love me, but when push comes to shove, if it comes down to it, you said what you would do. Yeah. And that that was tough. He's just... We're gonna watch everything Nawaz has done. Everything before, he's ever done before before it's all over. <laughs> yeah. Because he's just so brilliant. Yeah. Uh, he's so good in everything he does. It's uh, it's quite frustrating that either he d he doesn't want to be in Hollywood or Hollywood hasn't recognized him yet. Because he would be so good in like they just I want more people to know about him. Yeah. Just the same way I, I you know people know about Tom Hardy or, or yeah. uh, Gary Oldman or. They need to know that in a while. Yeah, when we, by the way, for those of you, especially if you're new to the channel, whenever we say something like that, it's not because we think that that is the step up for them for their career. No. That's not what we mean. No. What we mean is we feel like America's being robbed yeah. of something that would enrich their life and enrich the art form <laughs> by watching the artistry of these people like a Nawaz and Siddiqui. We feel like uh, Hollywood is missing out on a gem of an actor who would reshape what people are watching in the realm of this art form. So yeah. that's our motivation. So let us know what the next Nawaz Adin Siddiqui film is. Yes, uh, and Nandita Das, especially, uh, and I obviously, the more I watch of Rasika, Rasika. the more I and Tilotama. love her. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. She is, Tilotama, as well as Rasika, but Tilotama and Rasika both are becoming quickly, yeah. like, they're entering the echelons of Radhika Apte for me. Yeah. They yeah. really are. Like, see how long it took us to realize some of these people? I know. Two years in? Two years. Hey, who knows what we're going to discover in a month? Yeah, we might discover <laughs> more things, like certain foods or something. Let us know uh, what the next uh, film we should watch is down below.